great opportunity, the halfway point of the year roughly, to give our fans and members an update in terms of uh, our, the health of the list, uh, where we've been and where we're about to go to as we approach the, the challenges in the second half of the year. Unfortunately, um, surgery was required in the end for Tom, but the good news is uh, he's just about ready to play. Um, so we're really excited to have Tom fit and available. He's tackled his rehab and uh, weights program, etc., with great gusto. So we think he's gonna uh, be really exciting in the second half of the year and, ho and hopefully be available for the uh, senior selection in the not too distant future. Pat. Joined in some uh, skills work last week. Uh, he's been doing some rehab running and his fitness is not a problem at all. Um, he keeps himself in really good nick. But uh, with ball handling, it's probably round 15. And if not round 15, I think he should be available for round 16. Browns down, not big time. Actually. They've already lost McKenzie in the pre-season. He's holding his knee. It's a, looks like he's holding his left knee. The objective with Mitch is to, uh, in the um, early part of the pre-season to Christmas, have, have him predominantly in the rehab group and not a lot of uh, main training, unfortunately. But uh, we're hopeful that um, if we adopt that path as we approach 2016, we'll get him right and uh, have some NAB Cup game time, followed by hopefully availability in the early part of 2016. Just a little tweak with the leg. He's in a fair bit of pain down there at the moment, so I'll keep an eye on it. He's look, looking a lot better in terms of his, his mobility, um, and we're confident we're gonna get a great outcome there. He, like Mitchell, pre-Christmas phase will be largely around rehab training with a view to early part of 16, getting him back with the main group and hopefully some NAB Cup time and followed by uh, early selection next year. We've gone down the conservative path uh, given the nature of the injury, quite a delicate one, and the fact that he's going to need some shoulder surgery. So he'll be having that shoulder surgery in the next uh, week or two, and that'll rule him out for, for the balance of the season, but it'll have him available to undertake a full pre-season. He's not going to play this year. Um, he'll undertake his rehab work uh, and hopefully uh, get into a point where he's at full fitness uh, right at the end of the year which will enable him to undertake a full pre-season next year.